Hey, hey, party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com with more free 4K effects just for you. That's right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you flash transitions from Rampant's transitions category. These effects are so crazy popular that they've been downloaded almost three million times. Check it out. So how do I grab these amazing effects, you ask? Thanks for asking. Go to 4kfree.com. That's the number four, the letter K, and the word free.com. And when you go there, you're gonna see a little page that looks something like this. So this takes 20 seconds and it's completely free. So go ahead and enter your full name and your email address. And then click here to download. And once you do, you're gonna get an email that sends you to this beautiful site right here, built for just for you by Final Cut Steph. Check it out. Even the bear loves you, so check it out. You've got all these project files and film and light effects and animated mats and boom, right here, transitions. These are all free. Feel free to just grab whatever you want, but today, we're gonna go ahead and grab free, free 4K flash transitions right here. This is where you wanna be. So how do I get them? Just click this button right here. Boom, and as you can see, I'm already downloading and I'm downloaded. What? I've already got my flash transitions and I'm good to go. So what do I do? I go into Adobe Premiere Pro and what? What do I do? How do I get these? Do I install them? No, you import them like real footage because it is real footage. Check it out. These are clips that Stephanie and I shot in our studio. This is real light and real glass effects, real flares, real flashes that you can put on your timeline, right? So you have to bring them in like you would any other actual footage. So what do we do? In the project window right here, right click and hit import. And then you find your downloaded files and you get one, two, three, four, five beautiful 4K flashes, bammy, bring it in, cool. Or you can undo that and you can go up here to the file and go import this way. And again, just bring them in and hit import. I'm gonna go ahead and un undo that because I've already brought them in, as you can see. See, I've already made these cool pre-made examples just for you to show you how to do cool stuff with these. So I put them in this bin right here, but it's still the same stuff. So you can audition just by scrubbing, which is a really fun way to do this. So you can really get an idea of what the flare is gonna look like, what the flash is gonna look like. It's like, oh, they've got a blue one here, yellow one here, this pink and yellow one here pink one, you know, pretty cool stuff. So how do I use these, right? How do I get my footage to transition like this? So how do I do it? Well, let's go over here to our raw files where we haven't done anything and I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay. So we need to go from this shot to this shot. So over here in our example, if you're gonna follow along, we used clip number 89. So let's go ahead and first switch this view over here to list view and just find 89 right there. Okay. Let's zoom out and go back to our raw shots. Okay. So first things first, I need to get my flash transition onto the timeline. How do I do that? Well, you know where your edit is. It's right here, right? And because these are real lights, the edit points on the flash transitions are gonna be different in every single one. This is an organic light element, so it's gonna be very different every single time, right? So when you're scrubbing through, what I like to do is I like to find the hottest point, the point where I know the frame is gonna be completely washed out or at least close to it, and this happens to be it right here. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and click right here and mark in, and then just drag, put it right over the edit point. So if I zoom in here, it goes boom, Boom, like that, right? And then all I do is just grab this and I just pull it back. All right, so now we've placed our flash, but why is it that I don't see my footage? I actually see footage, flash, and footage. I get this email all day long. All you have to do now is blend. So with your effect highlighted, with your transition highlighted, hit Shift-5, which will open up your effect controls, and then right here at Opacity, change your blend mode from normal to screen. And then just roll it back. You now have a gorgeous organic flash transition and you see these effects in all kinds of reality shows and, and uh, contest shows and just you name it, they're everywhere. Cool, all right. So let me just do that again without talking to show you how super, super easy it happens to be and let's just use a completely different flash, right? So go ahead and erase that. I'm just gonna grab a random flash and just drop it on my timeline, right? We're gonna work through the timeline. So what did I say before? Well, let's find the hottest value here. Right there seems pretty good, right? So let's just go ahead and peel that back and then just line it up to the cut, right? And then just peel it back this way. And then remember, 
highlight your flash, shift five for effects controls if it's not open already, and then change your blend mode from normal to screen. Boom, oh yeah. So that's really, really simple way to add a beautiful organic flash transition to your edit. Now you don't invoke it the way you'd normally do. You don't right click here and add some kind of transition. It's okay, it doesn't matter, right? The end result is all that matters. Cool, all right, so let's move on. Now that you've known how to do this once, you can do this a thousand times. So let's just move on and I wanna show you something really cool. Here's our next edit. We go from here to here, from this girl looking at a tablet to these people all sitting on top of a van. Cool. Um, it doesn't look like that rug is going to stop you from getting whatever disease this rust is going to give you either. But cool. All right. So how do we get this shot, these, these transitions, onto here? We, we do, do we do the same thing every time? Do I find a clip? Find the white point? Bring it over? And drag it down I can that's an absolute valid way and then what we would do is we would just make sure we pull back our layer like so right and we need to blend it so highlight it shift 5 normal screen feel free to play with the, the blend modes here you could easily do add which will be a much much brighter so if you if you like those white hot remember those old white hot glow effects that people used to use back in the day in Final Cut I'm not talking about Final Cut 10 I'm talking about Final Cut Studio remember way 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 back in the day there was that really cool uh, almost glow slash dip to white kind of effect well now you can do it with a color just by switching uh, uh, from screen to linear dodge all right so anyway back to screen because it's my favorite it's my favorite let's roll it back and boom I want to talk to you about a little something here. I always do my tutorials in 1080 because that's the most common, you know, for everybody. Most of us work in 1080. Uh, most of my client work uh, at least delivers in 1080. You know how it is. So 1080 is just a, a common point, right? So let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. We're always asked, why 4K? Why do I need 4K? I don't ever work in 4K. It's too big. Whatever, whatever your excuse is or whatever your thought process is about why 4K isn't for you. I shouldn't say excuse. Some people say, like, look, I, I have an old laptop. There's no way 4K is going to destroy my machine without even trying, right? These are just media files, but I want to show you something. This right here is an HD timeline with an HD clip, right? I highlight motion. Boom, there's my bounding box. It's cool. Normal, normal, normal. I highlight the flash transition and I highlight motion. Boom. And I know I show you this every time. So if you watch all my tutorials, the beginnings are a little repetitive, but I want to show you the, just the importance of why 4K exists and why you need it even in an HD timeline, right? So check it out. We've got this flare and it's filling up, right? But if, as you notice, you're missing a lot of data here. And I worked really hard and Final Cut stuff worked really hard to give you like really beautiful flashes and flares, right? So what do you want to do with this stuff? You can move it so you can be a little less flashy you know, you can have a little less white hot and it comes in from the left now. See, notice how it comes left to right. So now you've just changed this effect just by moving it, right? Or we can do this, pull it down to the bottom left corner, roll it back. Now it's really heavier on the white glow, right? And yeah, I come in, I come with built-in sound effects. You got to understand when you work for producers and directors for 20 years, it's always about selling the shot and people are always more, I don't know, involved with the process when you give them free sound effects. So that and people just like it. All right. So as you can see, you can reposition. So can I rotate? Of course, I you're allowed to do whatever you want. So I rotate it 180 degrees or I can rotate 90 degrees, right? Whatever you want to do, you have complete ultimate control because you're using 4K and a much larger frame size. So now you've got the glow coming from a different direction. So why am I showing you all this? Why am I being so repetitive about this one flip, this one clip? The point is this one clip has now become 20, 40, or 100 just by repositioning, scaling, and rotating, right? So, I mean, when you get five free ones, these five free ones can become 100 free ones if you just look at the elements just a little bit differently. All right, let's move on. So let's say I don't want to have to find the clip, drag it onto the timeline, and re-blend it every single time. That's, that's a, hard, a lot of hard work. What else, what else you got for me? How do I do this? I've already done a transition. I just want to use the same transition or I just whatever, right? Well, there's a couple different things you can do. If you've already got a transition that's blended, just highlight it. And on the Mac, hold down the Option key. On the PC, hold down the Alt key and just drag it over your other edit right there. Now, you may have to tweak it because I just guessed. Hmm. It's pretty close, but it's not great, so I need to tweak it. Because I can see just a little bit of a pop. Well, that's 
pretty darn close. I probably would just make it go one more frame. Actually, or maybe two. Let's just do two. Cool. So, so now I've got this exact same flash that I had before. Now I don't want to use the same flash maybe, right? So now I can just find a different flash. We'll just go over here and just go, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, this one hasn't been used. I'll just grab this, right? And holding, and as I drag it, holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key and just drag replace it, right? Check that out. So now I can keep doing that through my timeline all day long. I can swap and I don't need to you know, go through the whole process. Another thing you can do, if you just somehow have your flashes, right, like so, on your timeline, right, and they're not blended. For whatever reason, you've just, you know, maybe you uh, set them up that way and you're going to blend them later or, you know, you're working with an assistant editor. I don't know the situation, but maybe you just, uh, you, you just happen to have a flash and it's not blended. What do you do? Well, you can always highlight it, hit Shift-5, go to Opacity, Blend Mode, and pick your Blend Mode, right, like so, boom, right? You can also find another clip that's been blended and just highlight your opacity, hit copy, and then go over to your other transition that hasn't been blended and hit paste, right? So, so now you're blending, right? So there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Super, super simple. The very last thing I'm gonna show you is, let me just find one with this lots of color. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is I've shown you how to scale it, rotate it. I've showed you how to smack it up, flip it, you know what I'm saying? So now what's the next thing? What else can I do? Well, color. I've only got five here, and, but you told me this five can be a couple hundred effects if I think about it right. Right, so let's change the color. Let's go ahead and go to our effects window right here, project, go to effects, and type in the word tint. Just go ahead and grab that and drag it right onto your flash. Now that what it does is it makes this cool white flash because it defaults map white to, to white, right? So it's taking all the color values basically and making it white. So now you've got this cool dip to white look that's um, organic, right? It's a real flash. So if you're a fan of, of using uh, you know, white flashes or whatever in your docs, this is a great way to, to do that, and, but have it still be somewhat organic, right? So it's, I mean, it, it's not completely organic because you've now tinted it. You get my point. But I want to make it something, something beautiful. I want, this is going over this heart shape, so let's make it pink maybe. Do, 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 do. Boom. Or purple. There we go. Cool. Now, the thing with tint, though, is it really just takes over the flash, right? You're, you're losing a lot of the properties of the flash, and you're getting more of a color flash. Now, if that's what you want, cool. You've got yourself a brand new element, and it works, right? But let's say I, I want it to retain some of the value of the flash that I had originally. Head on over back to your effect controls, Shift-5 if it's closed, and then just dial back the tint. Just do it at, I don't know, maybe 50%, right? Roll it back. Okay, so now it's looking a little bit more realistic, right? You can also, if you're really wanting to tweak this, uh, you can start stacking. And uh, I haven't really talked a lot about stacking effects, but it's super simple. Just highlight the effect, and on the Mac, hold down the Option key. On the PC, hold down the Alt, and just drag up, right? You've made a duplicate just by doing that, right? Now, of course, on the top layer, let's go ahead and highlight the top layer. Layer, Shift-5, open your, your effect controls, and just turn tint off, okay? Don't even want to deal with it. Now, if, when we roll it back, you're now blending the yellow and the pink, right, the purple. Let's go back and let's click the one on the bottom, and let's just jack that up to 100%. So now you've, you're blending uh, the yellow and the pink. So now you're getting a different, a, a bit of a different effect, right? And on the yellow one, maybe you don't want it to be 100%, so go ahead and uh, turn off the uh, animation toggle. Don't know why it defaults to on, and then just dial this back, right? Dial back your opacity and start mixing and matching. So now you've got the yellow mixed with the pink. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can mix and match and you can play and you can have a lot of fun and it's super simple and it's 100% free. So if you haven't already gone to 4kfree.com, treat yourself. Grab some free 4K goodness today. Now you know how to add flash transitions to your video. I mean, it's that simple. I gave you a bunch of different examples, but if you roll all the way back to the first second of this tutorial, all you have to do is drag, drop, and blend. And boom, you have yourself organic flash transitions for free. So give them a try, drop them in your work, and let me know what you think of them. Make sure to go to our Facebook user group. This is not to, to solicit anything. This is just so you can share your work. We have a group of people who always show, hey, check this video out. I, I used a little bit of Rampant. Check it out. Tell me what you think. If you want to show off your work and just get some feedback from other Rampant users, go to our Rampant Facebook user group. Here's the URL, and I'll put the link in the description as well. Also, if you don't want to miss the next free effects tutorial, and there's so many coming, it's just it's unbelievable in all different kinds of apps, HitFilm, uh, Final Cut Pro, 
uh, premiere. If you don't want to miss these, please click on that blue R in the bottom right hand corner and sub to our channel. Please hit us up with subscribe. We run on love and we really appreciate your subscription and thank you and we love each and every one of you. So like I said before, if you haven't already, head on over to 4kfree.com and load up on all the 4K goodness that you want. Just download it at all. You know, just download every single bit of it. It was all made with love by Stephanie and myself. So thank you so much for your time. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.